Karina here, and I wanted to wish you all a happy holiday season. We're past Christmas now. It was a little um, busy at Christmas, so I didn't get a chance to get on here, but Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, all of that, all in one. Um, today what I'm going to do is talk about my difficulties with hooking up electrical equipment. So for an example, um, right now my cable box doesn't appear to be working correctly. I'm getting some channels that I would never subscribed to, and I've lost basically all of the channels that I was subscribed to, and it keeps telling me um, for ordering information, press the info button. So it's basically acting as though I don't have cable, even though I know I do. I'm paying for the service. Um, but one thing that I struggle with is when I called for technical support and they tell me to unplug the cable box or they tell me to reboot the cable box, that kind of thing. It's very difficult for me to get on the floor to um, move the, um, what do you call it, the cabinet around so that I can reach the plug for the cable box. Now, um, I do tell them that I am in a wheelchair and that it will take me a little bit longer, so I ask for them to bear with me and they're Overall, they're pretty good about that, um, but that's one thing I struggle with. It's very frustrating when the device isn't working. It was working fine when they transferred me, um, but then I started losing one channel that I had added and was paying for, but it never came back through. Now, everything comes through on my cable box in the bedroom but I'm still getting the odd channel that I didn't subscribe to um, and I haven't lost any channel in the bedroom, it's just in on the living room box. Not sure what the heck's going on, but I've already replaced the box uh, once before for the reason of, oh yeah, the box was breaking up on me. It was the picture was coming in with little um, like pixels. You could see the digital aspect of it, but it was all fuzzy kind of. So it wasn't working correctly, so I sent them back the old one. But um, so now I just have to wait. I have a technician coming out on the 29th free of charge to help me look at this one, find out what's going on, but it's very frustrating. Because as of right now, I can only watch cable in the bedroom, and I have to watch DVDs or whatever out in the living room. So that's a main obstacle I'm facing right now with the equipment. So I want to know for you, if you're physically challenged like me, do you struggle a lot with um, hooking up equipment? What do you do? I know I can call someone, I can call my mom or whatever, but I want to get to a point which I can do it myself, but obviously there are certain situations when it is necessary for me to call someone. Um, but I didn't call anybody this time because I knew it was a Kojiko problem anyway, and I knew I had to call them anyway, so now, well, I just have to wait and see what happens. But it's very frustrating when you want to be able to do it yourself, and it's challenging. I uh, deal with these obstacles one by one as they come, and this is this is a an obstacle that's just come up, but that I'm happy to share about actually because it's one of the most challenging ones that I face. Um, so I just cope with it, I do whatever, and oh, yeah, another obstacle is that the funny thing, well, it's not really an obstacle, it's just a funny situation that happens. One of the pads for my leg braces fell off, and it's probably under the bed, I can't find it, so I'm wearing one leg brace that doesn't have the pad with it. 
but I will be putting the pad back on once I find it. It'll probably be found during my housekeeping, but I'm still doing some cleaning, so I'm probably going to find it beforehand. Um, had a nice little nap this afternoon, uh, so I'm feeling re-energized. I thought now was a good time to get the blog up and going. Um, I'm still... Just like I said, watching cable in the bedroom and uh, watching DVDs wherever I can. Uh, but that's what's going on with me. Uh, my cable box hasn't worked correctly in a few weeks now. So it's time to either get it fixed properly or I'm going to have to cut off the BHD because I don't want to pay for a system that isn't working. So... <laughs> Oh, the joys of living independently. You have to make all those decisions and deal with all that happen. Um, but that's what's gone on. So I just wanted to share. I hope I haven't rambled on too much. But thank you for listening. And I hope you all had a great Christmas and that you're staying safe and healthy this holiday season. I know I am. Um, Happy New Year to everyone, and I will be posting another blog soon. If anybody has any ideas for future blogs that they'd like to see, please let me know, and um, I will take those suggestions into consideration. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.